Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Mr. Juan Flores, and I play keyboards for Matamosca, Café con Tequila, and Sotos Skankers. Uh, as you see here, we're in my room, and I'm getting fucking interviewed. On the keyboards over there, we have Esteban Flores. It's mud. The fuck? Yeah. Oh, it's so. today? That was tomorrow. The fuck? Okay. Alright, come in. Fucking asshole. <laughs> fuck, nigga. Getting me ready for this fucking interview. One thing to know about me? I like my sandwiches plain. I just. But in a weird order as well. I like it up. You see, now I'm ripping this shit. You like cheese? Just cheese? cheese? And ham. It's just, but no, but I like it in a weird order. I like cheese, it. ham, cheese? No, uh, ham, cheese, ham. Or cheese, bread, cheese? No, ham, cheese, ham. Chef Ramsay, eat your fucking heart out. This is my kitchen. What up? Alright. What do you do? Ah. Uh, well, I tried playing bass back in ninth grade. I played for a uh, for choir actually in my high school. I played one song, but that actually inspired me to get into music. I would, you know, ask friends for help. And then um, one time actually, uh, I went to my friend JD's house, and uh, he had an old keyboard under his couch. And he was using it as, as he's li he was lifting it. How can he lift? How can he lift? His mom was fucking fat, dude. Try huge. She was. She was. She got skinnier. She got yeah. skinnier. I was just like, damn, dude. How how do you, how does a keyboard lift that? And but it was just like gathering dust and shit. So I took it. And I told him, hey, I can use this. And yeah, and the, the I just took it home and I started using it. I fixed it up, and uh, it was it was a cheap ass Yamaha. The first song I learned was like Bohemian Rhapsody from Queen. <laughs> Uh, it was like oh oh six oh five. Uh, it was like four, thirteen or fifteen years old. Between that time, around that time, I I. I always want to take lessons for an instrument, but we were poor. At that time, we were really poor, and we're still poor, but we, we managed to keep it up. And um, I was just like, fuck it, then if I can get lessons, I'll, I'll try and learn by myself. It, it was really time consuming at first. I, I, I thought I was never going to get as good as I was now. Um, I'm not saying I'm really good, but I never thought I'd progress, actually. And I did, and I'm really proud of that. My first band, fuck. First band right, what so, age? Or what? <laughs> so back in high school, uh, me and my I met these guys that got me to ska. This music called ska, and I was just, what's ska? What's ska? I, it was I met my friend Danny in um, my my uh, science class. My teacher's name is Mr. Haragi, Mr. J, in uh, Earth Science, and this guy named Danny he was failing science, and he was he was in eleventh grade taking Earth Science. And so it, we were seated in last names. So he had Danny Flores and I was down Flores. And he was just like, hey, what's up, my brother and shit. And so he was, and after that he was just like, you know what Ska is? And I was like, what's Ska? I was like, the fuck is Ska, dude? And um, <laughs> the first thing he showed me was the alphabet. And I was just like, this shit's horrible. This shit's horrible. I, I never liked the alphabets. I was I wasn't in, I wasn't into them. Never. I like I I currently like wait, I like third wave ska and stuff, but I never liked the alphabets. Maybe one song like super bad and shit. But I never liked the alphabets. And then after that, he showed me he showed me second chord. He showed me a uh, song. A song of Demonic. That's one of my favorite songs. And 
tell me date rape by Sub language. I just saw you Sub language, but I never really heard much of their stuff. And yeah, that shit was fucking amazing. Till 10th grade, I started bugging Dan, let's make a band, let's make a band. And we tried two or three times. We had different names. We had fucking, what is it? Niños de la Calle, Los, fuck, los Escamos. Uh, we would try bringing Scalo Frios back, we tried bringing other shit back, and then I just stopped for like a year or two, and I still played keyboard. So yeah, uh, you guys caught me waking up, so uh, this is my room. Uh, yes, I do sleep next to my keyboard, and uh, this is all like this, everything about me, you see? I have all these bunches of posters and all this thrill and shit, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and then I, I and then um, my friend Danny, he was just like, "Hey, you wanna try out for my band?" And I was like, "What's your band's name?" Mascarados. Now I was just like, I'm down. And so I was like, "Can I sing?" And he's like, "Yeah." So we, I, I only tried out for two days, and then we played a punk show. But that wasn't really our real show, uh, our first show, because that was just last minute. We just. The plan was just to take our instruments and be like, hey, we want to play. So we played it from 8 to 2008. And it was a punk show. And, um, fuck, dude. That shit, that shit was tight. I was thinking about it. And then our first real, real show was my brother's fucking 15th birthday, his, his quinceañera. And it was the only family members, so now it's like, fuck it. I, I still wasn't used to singing. I'm still, I'm still not used to singing by myself, but, oh well. You're gonna have to, you know, grow up. And then, uh, one time, my, f he, my friend Danny was like, I made a new song, I made a new song, let's play it. And it was just two simple chords, C minor and F minor. And uh, I, I was starting to come up with lyrics. And uh, I think this was the, that was the first song that was a hit. And that song's called Pookie. <laughs> Yeah, we also had other songs, but we I didn't really like them because they were just talking about like fuck the A one eight and the A one eight is really cool. I, I love the A one eight. I like their ska. Their ska, their ska now is cool. And back then, I was just like, fuck the A18. The bitches, they don't know shit about Scott. And I was like, man, fuck that. The a one cool. Let's change it. So for a while, we were like, fuck the police. But I guess they wanted to be funny again and say, fuck the a And so after that, I left Mascarados. I was like, fuck that. And my friend, my Timbalero friend Danny, who joined Shit Music Tijuana, he left after that reason as well. And then, yeah. After that is where I'm, where I'm up to right now.
story of how Esteban came to hate pizza and ketchup. Wow, well, when this was a little kid, we would always go to parties and eat a bunch on pizza like if it was dick. And like, eventually one time he just like, he just ate the crust wrong. Like, he just ate it wrong and he started choking on it. And that food just got traumatized and shit. So another story, no homo, um, how me and this fool used to like, used to sleep next to each other, but we would sleep like on complete opposite sides of the room. We would wake up hugging one, one leg over the other, fucking looking at each other right in the eyes, all gay and shit. And we would just wonder like, hey, how do we get here? <laughs> But yeah, it's just, we don't, I'm not gay, ladies. I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs>